Hi Scappy friends, welcome back to my channel. Virginia here and today I'm super excited because I have some great news to share with you. This month I'm guest designing for Cocoa DLC. Yay me! I'm super happy. And I'm going to use the marvelous book club memory keeping kits. First of all, I want to thank Christine and Emily at Cocoa Daisy for giving me this awesome, awesome opportunity. And uh, thank to you for being there. And do not forget to follow me if you want to see what I create. Now, let's go to talk about the, today's project. So, um, today I'm going to create a spread in this month's Traveler's Notebook. And uh, the theme of these kits is books and hot beverages, which I love both of them. So, it's fantastic. I decided to document what I'm reading at the moment, so I took a photo of the two books that I'm reading and a cup of coffee. <laughs> um, and I'm going to use um, this spread of the notebook um, with this lovely pattern paper with all these stacks of books. As you saw, I went through uh, the pocket kit cards uh, to choose a few of them to use uh, as layers behind my photo and also as a journaling spot. Um, cards are very useful complements uh, to the Traveler's Notebook Kit because you can use them in many ways, so it's really, really good to have them as well. By the way, I'm working with the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit with the pocket kit the memory keeping classified kit and the memory keeping sticker kit is insane it's a lot a lot of awesome beautiful stuff um, so I was trying to decide how I wanted to arrange uh, those cards behind the photo so I tried a few solutions but then I was not ready to commit so I left that there for the moment and uh, I moved on and I went through the stickers included in the sticker kit because I wanted to find something to add because they are all super cute. And I decided to use that one which says all you need is book and coffee, which is perfect for my picture, of course. These kits also include a lot of die cuts. There's a, a die cut packet in the um, Traveler's Notebook Memory Giving Kit and one in the Pocket Kit. So I'm going through all of them uh, to find stuff that I might want to use on this layout. Um, this is my first project with these kits, so I have plenty of beautiful stuff to choose from. And actually, I'm struggling um, to decide what I want to use <laughs> because everything is awesome. What a wonderful problem, right? So, um, I'm finally gluing the cards on the back of my pictures and I decided to stick to just two cards. A red one, which matches um, the one of my books in the picture, and a blue one, which matches my coffee, coffee cup. The third color in the photo is green, and that's why I chose a card with green borders for my journaling, the one that I'm going to place on the left side. Now, here on this, uh, um, on this journaling card, let's say, I'm going to glue down a label which says reading list, and a floral die cut, uh, which I am also stapling with a couple of green staples. I really love staples. Then, um, at this point, uh, I also decided to add uh, this uh, uh, branch on the left side and looking for more elements uh, to add. Um, and I decided to move the sticker, the rectangular sticker, to the left side. There are also uh, stamp sets. There are two stamp sets, one in the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit and the other one in the Pocket Kit. They are both beautiful, so I want to use uh, some stamps. And in particular, I want to use this one which says a book a day keeps reality away which I found so fun and at first I thought of using black ink but then I opted uh, for a green chalky ink and I'm not sure it was the best choice actually because you can barely read the sentence but anyway um, that's why for this second stamp that I'm going to use which says uh, uh, but first coffee I'm going to use a black ink, and actually this is a little Cocoa Daisy ink pad, black ink, or black ink, of course. Uh, 
now I'm going to add this to stick this uh, uh, branch to my photo layers with a couple of green staples and this way the two sides of the spread are somehow tied together because of the the branch we, uh, which makes the um, the flower on the left side and also because of the staples and now I can proceed to glue things down with double side tape what else i'm going to add uh, one of those cute parts uh, included in the um, sticker sheet one of the sticker sheet to the card on the left and i'm also using another staple there and then i'm going to stick it down on the bottom part of the left page and then on top of it uh, the rectangular sticker I also wanted to use uh, this awesome howl, uh, which is included in one of the sticker sheets, but I wanted to transform it into a die cut because uh, um, since I'm going to put it partially on the photo and partially directly on the page, as you will see in a, in a second, um, I didn't want it, it to adhere completely. I want to be a little bit more flexible if it makes sense. Uh, so I decided to stick it onto a piece of white cardstock and then fussy cut it out so I can use it as a die cut. And I think that this is a good way to stretch or to adapt uh, your kits. Now, looking again at my, the die cuts, I found a couple of um, die cuts more to add. Uh, this red on the left and the blue on the right, so I bring a little bit more of those colors. And now I'm going to sprinkle around a few of these cute little hearts, heart stickers, um, which of course coordinate perfectly. And now to conclude my page, I'm going to add a title, uh, which will be simply now reading. And for the word reading, I'm going to use this puffy letters, which are in such a cute descriptive font. And I'm going to carefully stick them down one next to the other so that they look like a full whole uh, word. And then for the word now, I'm going to use uh, the blue tile alphas, which I believe are included in the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, which are very, very nice as well. I think that this is going to wrap up my project. So I really hope you liked it. I have to say that I'm loving working with these kids. These are jam packed with beautiful stuff and they, that's great. I leave the link to the Kogo Adisi shop down below in the information box for you if you want to check it out. Now, if you liked this video, as I hope, please give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and see you soon with another guest design project for Cocoa Daisy. Oh yeah! Bye bye friends!